Biblical warning, breastplate, spirit, righteousness, faith, and love is only for the first Christians, not for the lukewarm Christians, or the soul for drawn, not drunk, not to look at you, free from illusions, from antitoxins, influence of the sin, like the impact of selfish passion and greed. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 8 But let us who are the days be sober, putting in the breastplate of faith and love, and for the helmet of hope and salvation. The Greek word for a breastplate spirit. Think about it, do your own researching about the King of Israel Bible too. Even Greek words are made to be used publicly on the 21st century for researching the truth of the gospel of the Bible. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 14 Stand therefore, having your loons greet from truth, having unto the breastplate of righteousness. This letter to the Solians. This was likely the earliest letter that was have from Paul. Next story is found in the book of Acts. There are Paul's co-workers that I went to ancient Greek city of Delicia. Tedikio, and telling people the good news about Jesus. A large number of Jewish Greek people gave their allegiance to Jesus and formed the first community here. A trouble and brewing. Paul's answer of the risen Jesus as the true Lord of the world, the suspicions. So Christians tell us were eventually accused of defying Caesar and Roman Empire. And they said, Lord or King, Jesus. This led to persecution that so intense Paul and Silas had to flee from the city. It was painful for them because they loved the people there so much. So the Paul letter attempted to reconnect with the Christians the same was after God report from Timothy. They are doing more than okay, they are flourishing despite the intensive persecution. And signed a letter to have two main moments for the celebration of faithfulness of Jesus. Yeah. They should see sober and awake the light of God's kingdom dance here on earth as a heaven. Paul closes all exhortations like began with hopeful prayer that God would promulgate their lives with their holiness. The Greek word thorax, now the breast, the part of the body from the neck to the novel, where the ribs and the breastplate of constant single two parts of protecting the body from both sides from the neck to the middle. King Gary uses total five. Use the New Testament four times. Is it important to know the Greek and Hebrew when studying the Bible? Martin Luther, the greatest Protestant performer helping working of the communication Bible too, wrote the following with regard to the importance of understanding the Greek and Hebrew. When, stunned, when studying the Bible, the language of the self in which the sword of the Spirit is contained, God sovereignly chose to have His word written in Hebrew in the Old Testament and Greek in the New Testament. Perhaps this is a good analogy of reading the Bible without knowing the Greek and Hebrew. It's like watching basic television while reading the Bible knowing the Greek Hebrew. is like watching a curved 80 Ultra HD 4K television which stereo surrounds and you can fully understand what's going on with the basic television, but the curve each 80 ultra HD 4K television and stereo surrounds on added depth and clarity with the help of the Holy Spirit. Anyone accurately understands the Bible in English, however, knowing Hebrew and Greek helps to better understand the nourishment and the richness of the biblical text. Revelation chapter 9 verse 17 And those I saw the horses of vision them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire, and jerk, and brimstone, and heat of the horses were at the heads of lions. Out of their mountains issued fire, and smoke, and brimstone. And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire, and of jacinth, and brimstone. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of their mouths issued fire, and smoke, and brimstone. Book of Revelation of Jesus. The author book is really called Revelation, by the way. It's named by the beginning. It was written by John. It's referred to the devoted disciple who wrote the gospel, and later the John. It could be John, the Masonic Jewish prophet, who traveled about the taught the early churches. Whichever John it was, he claimed it clear the opening paragraph, what kind of book he was written. It calls it the first revelation of the apocalypse. 
the Greek word of Alkliskris, is referred to a type of literature familiar to John's readers and from the Hebrew scriptures from the other popular Jewish texts. An apocalypse is commonly called a pessimistic dream, a vision that like a revealed heavenly perspective and history in the current events. The present could be viewed in the light of history, the final outcome. The John says this apocalypse is a period of which with words God spoken through the prophets of God people. Is they warn or comfort them in the time of crisis. This comes book of the prophecy, a John saying that it stands in the traditions of the biblical prophets, bring the message to a climax. The apocalyptic promise was sent to the real people that John knew. The book opens closes as a circular letter sent to seven churches in the ancient Rome province of Asia. Now seven mean a full number for John. A symbol of completeness based on the seven days of Sabbath, cycle Old Testament. John has worn with the seven in every single part of this book. Now the opening John has given us clear guidance about how he wants us to understand this book. Now, Jews Bacalox is a combination about the similar imagery of numbers. It's not a secret predictive code about the timing of the end of the world. Writer John is considered using these symbols that were drawn from the Old Testament and expecting the readers to discover the symbols, meaning the looking of the text, alluding them. In fact, that letter means that John is actually addressing the situation of the first letters century churches. The Senate book has much to say Christians of later generations. The book meaning first began as anchored in the historical context of John's time, place, and audience. This brings us to the book of the first sex. Replay the plague and seven upon six trumpets releasing the four horsemen that came from the four seals. Which the John tells us that despite all these plagues, nation did not repent, just like the Pharisee, like the Exodus story. And seeing God's judgment alone will not bring people to humble repentance before him. 